Okay, welcome back to Mass Effect 3, everybody! So, um, my voice is a little bull right now, so I apologize for that. Too much screaming in the last few days, I'm guessing. Anyways, so, there was some people that wanted to talk to us. I mean, like, I'm assuming some of these are, like, okay, anyways, some people wanted to see me in my room. Which is not near at all. Invite trainer. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments. We should have a girls' night. This. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Chess? I bought a board on the Citadel. GUI interface. Oh. Not nearly as much fun as real I pieces. have one. But I hope. You might give me some pointers. Wait a second. This isn't a romance scene, is it? The most exciting thing you can think of is playing chess. Well, if you're not up for the challenge, try me. Awesome. Okay, it's actually is chess. I'm glad. Oh, come on. <laughs> My word, Commander. It's almost like <clears throat> you want to spare your pawns the indignity of living under my regime. <laughs> in real life, that tactic would have worked. Well, in real life, one doesn't move on an 8x8 eight eight square grid. You know what I mean. The pawns are infantry. A good infantry line like the Krogan can take a charge like that. That reminds me of a joke. What's the difference oh, no. between Commander Shepard and a Krogan? One is an unstoppable juggernaut of head-butting destruction. Yeah, I get it. That's me. And the other doesn't have a smart-ass comm officer to keep her in line. <laughs> Ooh, that's even better than the number of testicles punchline. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run back to the lab, trainer. Thanks. So, rematch? Hell yes. <laughs> We need more of the we need more of those. We need more of those. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Ready for a chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander. It's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. You jerk that. something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? <sighs> Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do. And it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed. Wait, and the I Prime thought Minister Anderson was the counselor. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. All right. Now a question from Thessia. Commander, during your tribunal, some said you had Cerberus ties. Uh. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night and stay strong. Battle Space. <laughs> Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. <laughs> I think we're just fine in front of the camera. Oh, did you think? Uh, of course you did. Me and my big mouth. I'd better get out of here before I send another wrong signal. See ya, Commander. <laughs> yeah. No. Why am I getting everyone but Garrus? Cut. James, I've got some time if you want to talk privately. 
Why am I getting everybody but Garrus? Hey, man, how's it going? Oh, he called me a man. Okay, that's hey, good. Hey, James, you? Good, good. Wow. So this is what I can look forward to when I get my own command. Uh-huh. You want your own ship, Vega? You can't yeah, have my model ships, though. When I'm old and I can't fight worth shit anymore. You just come up here to make fun of your commander. Sorry, Mom. I guess maybe I got some things on my mind. I, I wanted to get your opinion on something. Okay. Shoot. What did you do when they asked you to join the N7 program? I mean, was it a no-brainer for you, or did you think about it before accepting? I don't know. I don't even know anything about when she joined the N7 program. I mean, my, my, um, I don't even know what the, <laughs> I don't even know what the N7 program is. Is that the Normandy? I don't know. Hi, Slurry. I don't know what the N7 program is, actually. To be perfectly honest, it's everywhere, and I have no idea what it means. Um, but I'm guessing it's the Normandy. Um, and I don't know the answer to this question, because I don't know much about Shepard's backstory, except for what I gave her in the little bit of tidbits that we got in the first one. I picked the um, sole survivor born in a colony. So her parents died when they were attacked by, I'm guessing, slavers. Um, it sounded like slavers, but the one person we met. And then her whole platoon got killed and she was the sole survivor. I, I give her a really sad backstory. I, I don't know why, it felt interesting. So I have no idea. The N7 program is a big deal, but it's also a big commitment. I hear that. You get the best training, best equipment, best assignments. And they expect the best in return. Yes, they do. Why are you asking? Well, even all the shit that's going on, somebody somewhere managed to track me down and forward an N7. I don't know what N7 is, to be perfectly it's honest. It's dated the same day the Reapers attacked Earth. You don't sound too thrilled. Well... Aside from the fact that there won't be an N7 program if we don't win this war, I just... Being a soldier is the only thing I've ever been really good at. I'm guessing it's just I try. the program that Shepard was in. Last time I had a command, I lost almost everyone. And they promoted me for it. I guess I'm just not sure if I'm ready to lead again. I don't know if I want that responsibility. I want to ask. mentioned that before. What went wrong? What didn't go wrong? We were out on patrol, checking on some strange readings. Then the oh, collectors right. hit. But they hit the colony first. By the time we got back, most of the colonists had been subdued or abducted, including our CO, Captain Tony. So you were in charge? Yeah. We laid low for a bit, waiting for a chance to strike. But before we could, we were betrayed. One of the colonists turned out to be a Cerberus spy working with the collectors. I had no choice. Wait, what? I killed him and destroyed the collector ship. That didn't even make it any got sense. Ugly. We lost most of the colonists and all but one of my squad. Not exactly a textbook operation. Jeez Louise, sounds a lot like my backstory. You can't blame yourself for being put in a tough situation. And if you were promoted, then something must have gone right. Sure, but... If you'd saved them all, would things have worked out better? I... I don't know. I mean, you'd feel better, yeah. I don't think so. The right choice is usually not the easy one. Yeah. Did you know that before you joined the N7? Yep. That's why I was asked. And it's why they asked you. There is not a single N7 that hasn't sacrificed either themselves or their soldiers at some point. I'm guessing she joined... So you think I should accept? I see when we survive this, that's a no-brainer. You're a damn good soldier, Vega. Don't waste that opportunity. I'll think about it. Seriously. If you don't mind, maybe don't mention this to anyone else. Of course not. Gracias. Well, I think I better get back to the hangar. Things here it's a little too soft for me. Too soft? It's a lot harder than it looks. Are you flirting with me, Lola? I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> Thanks again, Trevor. <laughs> Anytime. 
Why? Okay, why is it that the girls came up here and like flirted with me, and he came up here and actually had a really lovely conversation, and made me feel like a complete idiot because I don't know what N seven is. I'm guessing N seven is the. I mean, and it's it's like written everywhere, which makes me feel even worse about it. I'm guessing N seven is. Why is that like blinking? Do you see that? Ooh. Ooh. Krogan, 878. Come on, Beth. So, in Dragon Age, there's a point where it's like the point of no return with relationships, like you can't like choose anyone else. So once I get to that point with my babe, I will feel better about putting people up into my cabin. Until then, I'm gonna be a little wary. I don't like her name. Oh shit, what the fuck was that? Oh God. Tell them I'm a, little, I'm a little nervous about letting people up into my cabin. I think at least for Colin, it's like what, um, then like after his, um, like it'll literally say like you, you, I don't know if I'll say this again, but I'll say like you're entering a relationship with Commander Colin. And then after that, no one flirts with you, so you don't have to worry about it. All right, let's try you out, Kaidan. What's the word? Do we know how long these scientists have been holed up out here? Nothing in the mission brief. Ma'am, I'm picking up chatter from a Cerberus squad engaging the supply depot. Oh wait, engaging I was supposed to have the Cortez, wasn't I? If I'm reading it right, you. sounds like more troops are on the way. I can't remember, I got a lot of emails okay, set from us people down who and get to out talk of here. to me. I need these scientists alive. <sighs> that look, that's pretty. And scary. Oh, thank you, Slurry. <laughs> I kind of figured it was something like that. Wait, is that Little Arms Jake? Probably gonna live because I don't care about him. Jack lived, didn't care about her. Don't like Jake, probably gonna live. But Morden and Bane, love them pieces. No wonder Cerberus abandoned this place, it's freezing. <laughs> Just keep moving. What did these people do to bring this down on their heads? Hold on. Cerberus is... Seven. Right? Actually, it probably is fine because it probably didn't even feel anything. Woo! Falling from the sky. Gotcha. No, no. Did 
Did I get him or did I not get him? You guys are just like lining up like dominoes. Beautiful. Does the shield block dominate mind? More? Okay, honey, I'm pretty sure I am. My score to your score is much, much different. They just like fell like dominoes right into my beautiful, beautiful sniper. <laughs> Nobody. Nobody you know. Don't worry about it. I just gotta check out the sites first. Nobody. It's not anybody. No. Whoops. I decided to go. Kind of felt like it. Uh, hello? Yo, what's up? Hello? 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 Right, oh. Jacob. How bad? I'll live. I think. Of course you will. <laughs> I'm such a jerk. This is Commander Shepard of the Alliance. The enemy is clear for now. Open the door. So far, no one from the second okay, game besides Brent. Garrus has joined my party, so I'm guessing he's probably not going to either. You look almost exactly like the girl I just played chess with. I forgot her name. Jacob. Oh my god. <sighs> I'm all right. The others didn't make it. What are you doing here? I'm supposed to be protecting these people from the elusive man and his attack dogs. Did you fail? Are they gone? For now, but they'll be back. Uh... You sure you're okay? Yeah, I'll walk it off. Uh, save my life one more time and I'll start owing you. You already owe me. This one's on the house. Hey, yo. Good to see you too. Staying out of trouble, I see. Shepard, this is Dr. Bryn Cole. She's in charge here. That was weird. Tell me what's going on. Intel says you're Cerberus. We're all ex-Cerberus. Scientists, mostly. Civilians? Call us refugees. If we hadn't run, we'd be dead. Now, the elusive man doesn't mess around. If he can't control it, he'll destroy it. The brain trust here has to be a significant loss for him. You had to know they were going to find you. It's a pretty smart bunch. We covered our bases. Why do you sound the like... elusive man is one tenacious bastard. Time to evacuate. Snobby. Agreed. Just need to get the AA guns on the roof back online. Cerberus is jamming them somehow. With those guns down, Cerberus will just blow our escape shuttles out of the sky. Might be the network link. I'll check and meet you upstairs. Jacob, you should get that wound looked at. I'm good. I mean, I will. Or you just let me go, Commander, you know, I should see someone who can actually walk. Join me upstairs when you can. Jacob Taylor, way out here. That's a surprise. Jamie, I don't think... Your partner was brave. He wouldn't want you to crumble like this. Aww. She's right. We're getting out of here alive. I promise. Aww. She's so wee. I hate when the game gives me missions that make it shake. It just makes me feel like I need to be faster. Commander Shepard, I've heard about you. Another Cerberus defector, as it were. First of all, I Something never like voluntarily that. worked Dr. for Gavinox. Cerberus, and they never gave me an option to not work for Cerberus, so I hate that they say yet. that. What kind of work did you do for Cerberus? It was called Project Overlord. Also, they literally brought me back to life, so... Methods for controlling the Geth. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. Yes. Well, like most things the elusive man touches, my work became corrupted by decrees. Suffice it to say, things didn't end well. I don't understand what he's doing and why he's in this game. What is the point of him? To just add more animosity the when there's already a species trying to wipe out all existence? My brother David made a breakthrough. He was an autistic savant. Also, why it just it doesn't make no any time. fucking sense whatsoever? Why did he bring Shepard back and not put a freaking brain plant in her? Speak directly with the Geth. It was rudimentary at first. 
So I decided to take the next step. Tap David straight into their network. It was sensory overload. No mind, even a savant's, could process the barrage of information. It drove him insane. Did David volunteer for this? Miss. The elusive man kept pushing for results. I was eager to please him. It seemed harmless at first. You mean you forced your brother to do it? Believe me, it's a nightmare I relive every night. He went berserk. His mind became a computer virus that infected all our systems. He killed dozens of lab personnel. Oh my god. We finally had to detonate nuclear weapons over the base to stop the havoc. Nuclear weapons? Why? Alright, whatever. That's all, Doctor. I appreciate your help getting us out of here, Commander. Come here, kitty. Come here, kitty. Oh, oh man, do I. No, I want to get kitty. But I love you. I start sabotaging my wood. Ah, I see. Oh, come on. Didn't he literally just walk into this room? It always gives me weapon vetches at very strange areas. Like I literally just did my weapons, and I didn't like I didn't find anything in the amount of time that yeah, I wouldn't. Make sure those samples from Project Mia get out on the second shot. <laughs> I've already dropped one box. My hands were shaking so hard. We're going to make it. What's the status of the guns? Still waiting. I have my best people on it. Oh, you mean you mean the elusive man represents the researches. renegade path? You ran with over forty people. When you fear for your life, there's a lot you can do. Bryn, I can't possibly dismantle the genetic but amplification you're still... components in time. I just don't get I'm it. I'm sorry, Doctor Vayner. It's important work, but right now you Because you're still trying to save family. humanity, right? Wait, there are I mean, ideally. Here. Children? You gotta be kidding. Like, you're still trying to save humanity, right? So I don't understand why he's, like, s making it harder for humanity. You know what I mean? Like, pretty. I have met more Cerberus soldiers than I have Reapers in this game thus far. Like, I actually prefer fighting the Reapers because it's fun. This escape will have to be carefully executed. I'd hoped. We tried so hard to make sure it wouldn't come to this. What's the news? Can't tell. Only know I can't fix it from here. I'm going to the roof. Dude, just let, tell me what to do, idiot. You win? Jacob, you're injured. I'll fix the guns. Thank you, Shepard. No way. These are my people. Would you I'm shut going. up? Just because you survived one suicide mission doesn't mean you get two. Thank you, Shepard. <sighs> Fine, but I'm gonna talk you through it from here. Cerberus is probably jamming the satellite link. Radio me when you found the controls and I'll give you the override code. Will do. And then, and then I looked up, so every time I finish something, I've looked up what happens, you know, cause I'm curious. And you still fight Cerberus, even if, even if you side with him. So I just don't understand. Dr. Cole. Got a moment? Of course. What's your relationship with Jacob? We went through a lot together. An old colleague of his introduced us. Through Jacob's eyes, I started to recognize what the elusive man had become. I guess I was so in love with my work that I refused to see the obvious. Its sponsor had become corrupt. I get that. That's why it's important to have good people around you. I don't know what we would have done without him. Thanks, Dr. Cole. I'll let you get on with the packing. Thank you again for everything you're doing for us. Like, I I mean, like, it's not like you're being a bat. Like, the renegade path, I, it's not, you're still trying to save the world, or not world, the universe, you know? Like, 
you do what I, it's I feel like it's more like you do whatever the fuck it takes to do that you know instead but like like killing pe innocent people or whatever but your your ultimate end goal is still hey saving okay? the galaxy uh, universe have you been give us a minute this is crazy I didn't think I'd ever see you again I know the feeling so how'd you become a gun for hire long story it was an opportunity I couldn't resist for people I came to care about. Okay, what about the war? Nothing is more important than finding a way to beat the Reapers. These people are important. Their ideals, their knowledge. Someone needs to fight for them. I don't know. It seems like a waste of your skills. Oh, I didn't mean to I'll be... I'll take that as a compliment. I didn't mean to be such a douche about that. I was just saying. What's the story, Jacob? Why are you working at a place like this? After we got back, well... Things look different when you come back from a suicide mission alive. So I quit Cerberus, I quit everything. And sat by the Mediterranean for a while. That's when I lost track of you. You sat on a beam? And what did all the fresh air and meditation teach you? That what I choose to fight for better mean something to me. That it comes from the heart. We could sure use you. It's real tempting, Shepard, but I like where I'm at. I'm important to these people. I want a life. I want a family. So do sure. I. I get that. No, Shepard. The Normandy's your real love. Doesn't mean I don't want to say to hell with it sometimes. But you won't. You can't. Because I'm a good person and I don't want the universe to be destroyed? This is why I didn't like you. Let's bring you up the old ones. about what happened to your dad? <laughs> Haunts me more like. Okay, I don't care. I should focus on getting these people out of here. You bet. Let's get to it. I don't care. Outpost now 48% operational. We reorganize some of the storage rooms around the central core, turning them into living units in order to save power. Blah, 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 blah. Alright, what are we doing? is my real love. I'm sorry, Garrus is my real love. Although I do love the Normandy. She is my and then and then there's Grunt who's my little baby. Yeah, Grunt's my baby. Telling this to my cat. I thought we covered our bases. There's a war on what does he want with us? No no you can't move no 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 no, no, no. I forbid it. What would these I forbid. If we hadn't shown up? Died. Those people had no plan beyond hiding. They didn't stand a chance. I don't know why, but I'm salty too, boys. Can you? Please be careful. There's no shaking. No shaking. Got the jump. Who, who took that shot? Who took the bloody shot? Woo! Oh. I hate Boy, when they do that. Like, here I am, like, trying to be sneaky and quiet. Oh god, okay, wait, I... I deserve that one. I don't, I don't know what I was doing. I was trying to get, get around the box. Why is my health so low? Also, I always forget. Ah! 
that they're gonna come back. Disable it. It's my first mission of the night. I'm allowed failures. Quick, let's find that satellite tower. And if you dum dum. Have a head anymore. How the heck are you supposed to get up here? Just like that? Wait. Pain in the butt. Get up they hit the ground. Really, really pain in the butt way to do that. Screen. Okay, there's somebody over there. Oh, right. Shoot that? I'm 
if I can even shoot that. How? ever freaking ever Oh, I can't destroy them because that's what I'm going for, isn't it? has to make these repairs. Caden, go fix the guns. Yes, ma'am. Ready, Garrus? Let them do their worst. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I want people call me ma'am. Ninja bitch can't dodge my snapper rifle. <laughs> Honey, I'm pretty sure it's a hundred to maybe five. Not that you haven't had some good shots. Now, if you run right at Hold me. On. You need to bring the guns back online. Gotcha. I'm on it. Just why can't you do it? You're standing right there. Shepard, A guns are back online. Copy that. Let's get these people out of here. Oh, wait. What? When are you supposed to okay, use the those? Okay, guns are already picking Cerberus ships out of the sky. Where are we at? On track. First shuttle is already loaded with everyone under 16. Commander, when should we leave? What's our best chance for survival? I don't know now. Jacob, what do you think? Are we ready? Almost. We can go now. There's no do-overs here. Agreed. We get one shot. And we don't want to leave anything behind that can strengthen the elusive man's cause. Your call. All right, let's get these shuttles in the air. I don't know why we would not evacuate. I guess maybe if you miss something. Is 
Have the guns punch a hole in the perimeter, then launch shuttle one. Oh! Pew! Like shooting candy? Wait. Shooting ducks. All right, everyone here, head to the shuttle bay and boom. Knew it. Suicide fighter took Fakeable. out one of the guns. Cerberus troops are. <laughs> Get those people out of here. the shuttle bay first so we can bring the door up then get out to the landing pad will do Let's get these people out of here. Here we go. I I completely hit nothing there. Shuttle of refugees to go, right? Affirmative. We got this. Just need to hold them a little longer. What's with these ninjas? I'm be there. There's 
It's overrun. Understood. Back on three. Oh, of course. I don't want to dare you. you a landing zone. Also, scrub to the aim. <laughs> Why does the little girl, the skinny little girl, come out to help me, and the two strong men sitting in the vehicle say they're not helping? Alright, oh, because women are awesome. Out by the skin of our teeth again, hey Shepard? <sighs> Whatever. Nice to see you back in action. Yeah, feels good. I was afraid we wouldn't get anyone out alive. But because of you, we got almost everyone. Thank you. Dr. Cole, I have a request. One that you can't afford to turn down. I need your help against the Reapers. Without a doubt. I'm at your service. Thank you. And I'm sure you can count on the others as well. You too, Jacob. I need you. Of course, but I wouldn't mind staying with these folks. Keep them safe, then. The Alliance needs that crucible. You got it. All right. Report to Admiral Hackett for your assignment. Oh, I forgot. He... You know, Commander, I've never met anyone like you. Just feels better knowing you're on our side. Thank Thanks. you. Shepard, when this mess is over, drinks are on me. <sighs> Be safe out there. You should give me that drink before this mess is over. Otherwise, you may never pay up for it. Back in here. I'm sending you a large team of scientists. I have the dossier. They're all Cerberus defectors. Keep them safe. Will do, and I'll put them straight to work on the Crucible. Jacob Taylor is with them and is already working to find a place for the families. He'll be a valuable asset as well. Snagging Dr. Cole from the elusive man is a coup. Having her on our side can be a huge win for us. The sooner we can get the crucible finished, the better I'll feel. I'm with you. Shepard out. <laughs> 